This is Joe Matteris makes a pizza. This is amazing, and we're just going to jump ahead. I've never seen anything like this. It's really quick. It's super innocent. So, the all- um, and it's Joe Matteris makes a pizza, and he's outside. I'll tell you, uh, we skipped ahead a few the minutes. The first part of the video, he's just yeah. making dough and stuff. You can imagine making it. dough, but um. He's using a Weber gas grill. It looks like, uh, I don't know, a 3 Series Spirit 3 burner or maybe even a very low-end Genesis or whatever they call it. Cheap grill. He's got the heat on like... Shut the fuck up, Surrey! Uh, He's got the heat on like medium-low to make a pizza. Now, we all know the reason people want to make a pizza on their grill is to get the high heat. That's the only purpose. Your oven only goes up to 500, 550 degrees. A pizza oven at a restaurant goes up to about 1,800, sometimes 2,000 degrees, and that's why we put that pizza in. It bakes very quickly within minutes, and that's where that taste comes from. That's why everyone goes, ooh, he's got the pizza oven from Brooklyn. Oh, it's from Paisano, the pizza oven. That's what you want. So people use their outdoor grills to get that hot, hot heat. Um, So a lot of people use charcoal grills, or even if they use their gas grill, they get that sucker hot. They let that sucker really heat up. They throw the pizza in, hoping for the bake, and it still is hard on a gas grill because if your gas grill is just a shitty Weber, which he thinks is good. At the beginning of the video, he goes, if you have a charcoal grill, throw it out. Well, that's what I'm getting to here. So um, for those of you who don't know, A Weber three-burner grill gets up to about 600 degrees tops with all the burners on high. Not very hot, not even really hot enough to sear a steak the way I like it. With a charcoal grill, you could add as much charcoal as you want and create a 3,000-degree fire if you want and cook on there. That's what I prefer. Joe Matteris thinks a charcoal grill is cheap junk and he makes a note in his video. Goes, Don't use Go a charcoal. Fifty four yeah, seconds. You got to see this. So this shows how stupid he is. And he's making outdoor pizzas on a grill that's less than his oven. So your oven could get up to five hundred easy. You shut the door. You hit five hundred. It's simple. He's cooking pizzas on a two hundred degree grill. It defeats the purpose of any of this. We're gonna go. What did you say? Fifty four. Yeah. So here he is. Look. And uh, so, oh, it's at zero right now. Here. A gas grill, so I got control here, okay? If you have a charcoal grill, throw it away and get a Weber, you cheap bastard. <laughs> Weber makes charcoal grills, so this could be very confusing for people, but he thinks his Weber 3 burner is, hey, it was $400. This is the top of the line device. Fuck, so man. So he actually says this. Now we're going to cut to 340. I love cooking mistakes. We're going to go to 340 and we're going to watch him make this terrible pizza. So step six, put it down on the grill, olive oil side down. None of this is recommended. Watch this. Nice and uh, toasted up, but not burnt. Cheers, everybody. Here comes the hardest part. So the olive oil is on this side. I flipped it over because that has to hit the grill. Okay. So... I have this oversized cutting board, which is great, and it's got well, a lot of uh, flour on it. So I'm going to bring this cutting not board over I'm burning myself, and I'm going to try to slide them off. Okay, so he's got his grill. There's no heat. You can see no flame. There's no even, like, a heat wave coming off of it. There's no heat. He's holding his hand right over the fucking thing. The test is you shouldn't be able to hold it. Whoa! That's what you should be doing. His daughter was just sitting on the yeah. grill like it was the kitchen counter. Yes. And he lifted her off by the armpits to and, put the pizza on. And he's got two square. What he did is he ro- he he was doing the dough, and he rolled them out into squares, or he tossed them into squares. He can't do circles yet. <laughs> but he's doing a pizza tutorial. And he puts them on a cutting board, and he didn't even think, you know, every the, the reason they use the pizza... Uh, pizza uh, what do you call that? The Like the spatula, spatula the big, big fucking thing is because you got to shimmy it in. And yeah, it's kind of a technique that you got to learn. He's put the dough on the cutting board and now he's just going to lift the dough onto the grill. This never works. You would think you would try this before making a pizza. Watch this. If you can't pick these up, throw them on the grill. They fall apart. Okay. So we got to slide them on. But All they right, don't. Guys. They don't slide them on. Yes, you do have to slide them on. 
So watch what Joe does. Here he is, the big dummy. That grill, I mean, I don't even think it's hooked up to a tank, to be honest. I think, really, the heat that he's feeling is from the sun on the cast iron grates. <laughs> here we go. Guys, it's going to be hard to show you here, but I'm going to try to slide them on. He's going to try to slide them on. So he takes this big cutting board with two pizzas on it, and I go, how are you going to slide this on? Those are stuck to the cutting <laughs> boards, okay? Uh, Look at this. Look at what he does. So he tries to slide it, and he's trying to move the dough, and obviously the dough is stuck. He just put, he didn't put any flour on the board. It's olive oil gluing the dough to the wood. So he's trying to push. It's like trying to push a piece of gum <laughs> a, 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 on a desk. It's going to stick. So here he is, and he only tries it once, but he goes, all right, now it's time to slide the dough onto the grill. And then he tries, and it doesn't work, and then he does this. Watch. Just decides I'm going to pick it up as if it's going to stay. Watch this. He's going to pick it up. You ever picked up dough off a board? Look at this. Watch this. He's got his uh, corn grate up there still. That's the stupidest thing. Anybody who's got a grill, you take this off day one, and you fucking throw it away. That thing that you put buns on the top so that they turn into toast. You don't want your buns to be crispy on all sides, like a piece of toast from your toaster. Get that thing out of there. It's taking away grill space. So he's trying to get the pizza on with his hand, and he's going to try to slide it under the thing that people put corn on the cob on in the Ugh. commercial. Something about Joe Matarese just makes me, like, cry. The second I started yeah. watching this movie this morning, I was crying. Yeah. Look at this. He's going to cheat the system. Look at that. Look at this. Look at what he's done. He takes the dough. Hold on. This is a blunder. Here, I'll zoom into this grade here. Look at this. Watch this. Oh, perfect. That's going to be a good pizza. Yep. We're going to lightly cook this side. Okay, that's not that bad. You can still make a pizza like that. Sure, let's see this one. Ah, just like they did in <laughs> Italy. So it looks like a Nickelodeon GAC logo. Wow, that's... Completely fucked it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least you know. Now, something really weird happens here. <laughs> this is really weird. Um, It's clearly daytime <laughs> while he's making these pizzas. Now, he's just taken loose dough crumbled up in a ball, thrown it on the grill, and then tried to open it apart. It really looks horrible. I mean, it looks like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, like a ghost or uh, like if you shot a paintball <laughs> at a mirror. Um, it looks awful, but it's daytime. It's probably no later than 4 p.m. out in, uh, you know, uh, Lachelle, Lachelle, Rochelle, Rochelle, New York, or wherever he lives. So he closes the lid to the pizzas. Now, everybody knows, even at the shittiest pizza place, how long does it take to make a pizza? I mean... 10 minutes. 10 minutes tops. Even when you use... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow, that was close. Even when you use your oven. I mean, a frozen pizza from frozen, 18 minutes. Okay. It doesn't go from bright and sunny... <laughs> To what I'm about to show you in 18 minutes. Now, the whole point of using a grill is that you're getting high heat, higher than your oven can get. So Otherwise, should cut the time in half. Use your oven. Um, it should be about three, four minutes to make a pizza on your grill. That's the idea. That's what they do at the good pizza places. That's why it tastes good. It cooks very fast with high heat. This pizza sits on that grill for what I could only assume. 16 to 18 hours. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Day turns to night to night. You see the moon and the sun set over and over again. You see the lights go off in New York and then on again in the sun. You've seen this before. It's called a time lapse. Like I don't know. Trees, what... leaves, yes. turn orange. Yes. And then fall off. Seasons change. Watch this. I've never seen anything like it. It is daytime. He throws the pizzas on. I'm not going to do any editing or cutting. Watch this. 
completely fucked it up. Watch this. <laughs> Can you see it? Look at the pizzas. <laughs> Even tr uh, just try like to the move. the chalk it. outlines on a dead body. Very good. All right, I'm gonna toast it up on one side. Okay, watch. Cut to the fresh 1 a.m. in the morning. It's darker than it's ever been. And not only that, but we can't see a thing. You could barely see Joe. All I could see is the whites of his shitty fonts. Uh, you could see the glare in his glasses. That's it. So the rest of the tutorial is shot in pitch black night. Meaning these pizzas didn't come out. He tried over and over again to make the pizza until he oh finally God. got one to work. It, by the time he got it to work, you'll see the table is set for five people. He eats the pizza alone because his kids are at school. <laughs> it's the next day. Watch can't this. Can't just make a video where no, it's not he night. can't. <laughs> this is worse than Donkey Lips's toilet tacos. Watch this. Mozzarella on. You could hear the cicadas and the crickets. It's deep into the night. Listen to that. That sounds like a campground. You can see I'm kind of making This is like the Blair Witch Project where they miss a day. So it right? melts better. <laughs> Look at this. Pitch black. You can't see anything. There's no cooking at night. He doesn't even bother to get a light. Or explain. Now I know what you're thinking. Shundown goes pretty quick. How long is this pizza taking? This is true. <laughs> I'm like fully sobbing. He thinks it's like a brisket, I saw somebody and say. You know what? I would never, like, nobody would think, wouldn't it be funny if a guy starts a cooking video yes. in the day and, and then the starts up at night? But it, and it would make sense funniest. if it was his 16 hour barbecue cook but, for a brisket. Like, but, nobody could ever write this. Like, Google, <laughs> how long does it take to cook pizza on the grill? It like, this might be the funniest yeah. video of the year. You would at least see the sun setting. Here. And then you close the lid. And the pizzas, by the way, the pizzas were all different. <laughs> those two pizzas that we saw, those aren't there anymore. He hasn't said anything about it. He didn't say, I messed those up. I started again. Day turned to night. None of it. Here, watch this. So funny. Wow. He's got a flashlight. Ooh. Hey, who's there? Are you pizzas trespassing? <laughs> hey, you pizzas, get out of here. Uh, it probably takes about 15 minutes at 450 degrees, but keep checking the bottom. Why are you making a pizza at 450 degrees, you idiot? There is no recipe besides tombstone that requires that temperature. It's looking pretty good. No. It's looking pretty good. Little note, they don't need to look like perfectly oh. shaped pizzas. Oh, okay. okay. Thank God. They don't, you don't need to be, to be pizzas. You, wanna... you don't need pizza. It just needs to be food. <laughs> That's little note. It doesn't matter if it even is pizza. Just be lucky you're eating. You know, any unique shape to them. Look at this. Oh, I like them. So it cuts. Look at this. See, it was set up for his family. His family is in bed, okay? <laughs> they ordered in. They couldn't wait any longer. So now you're going to watch him eat three continents <laughs> alone. <laughs> and boy, are they good. Okay, yeah, let's see. The uh, pizza. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Film me cutting this baby. Watch this. Step 10. You got to have a pro pizza cutter. If you don't, Get one on Amazon right now. Okay, like a and then he pulls out say. he pulls out a uh, seven dollar roller cutter that no pro pizza place uses. Hey, I'm not being nitpicky, but you're the one saying a pro pizza cutter. Watch this. That's a pro pizza cutter. The one they sell at Bed Bath and Beyond to moms. Look at him. He can't even do this right. This is the easy part. Look, it's all burnt. Oh. I gotta be honest. I'm sweating. But it's so good. Oh, I yeah? nailed it. You nailed it? 
Come on. You know how much this cost? This was about $700 for a couple of pieces. <laughs> Listen to the sauce he uses. Use the Rayo. Rayo's pizza. Abby sauce. Rayo. Or Victoria. Those are my two recommendations. And get good mozzarella. I had the pre cut pieces, the big roll of it with the pre cut pieces. Do that too. All right? This is the first cooking <laughs> like an asshole with Joe Matteris. We love it, please. And you gotta get yourself a good pizza spatula too. This one was 30. You won't regret it. Wow, Just I loved it. Amazing.